I'm just so blue today. Oh, you I, are. <laughs> I just don't blue, know. Blue, blue, blue. Hey. You don't look like that little girl, though. I hate to tell you this, but what? you have a funny hat on. Did you know that? Uh, yes. It's a toque. It's a toque. It's the second grade over at uh, Raleigh Court Elementary School in Roanoke, Virginia, sent this to me because I went over and did a lecture to them uh, and a demonstration on the food of ancient Egypt, huh. which they were, look at this. Thank you, everybody. Harold is taking no. a picture. Oh. I want to make sure that. Uh, <laughs> yes, smile. I want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That I, reminds me of that old rock and roll song. Yeah. One toke over your head. Anyway, I, no, I did anyway. the program on the food of ancient Egypt, which they're studying in school. I think it's a little bit too advanced for the second grade, but they're doing a good job. Second grade? Second grade. I well, didn't even know there was an Egypt when I was oh, in second grade. And in fact, I think I was a senior before I ever <laughs> even heard of Egypt. <laughs> oh, well. Where's that witch? Yeah, let's bring the witch Where in. Where is she? Boop. She's here somewhere. Yeah, here she is. Huh? Here oh, she there is. she is. Here. Oh, okay. Woo! I slipped on the cords over here. <laughs> Did you do that? I'm sorry, you missed that. We have the lovely Doris hanging off to the left, and she had to duck when uh, oh, well, good. When Miss Witchy flew over her head. Because, you know, she, she got it in the eye one uh, day with yes. the broom. Dear boys, I just don't know what to do. My doctor, an old lady, just keep nagging me about my cholesterol all the time. I've eaten chicken and fish so much that I think I'm going to develop feathers and gills. It was fun. I was just out with my gill friend the other night. <laughs> I'll look like I've been cloned into a human fish slash fowl. Help, please, before I go jump in the creek. Thanks for your help. Marvin Pullett of Fishbone, Louisiana. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm we'll, going to do chicken today. And I'm doing chicken. As and Doris fact, is doing chicken. I'm doing chicken a la queen. And the lovely Doris is doing what? Greek chicken? Or are uh -huh. you doing Greek chicken? No, Greek she's chicken? doing it. Right. Who sent in yours? Chicken fajitas for you. Mine was sent in by the lovely chicken fajita. No, yep. that's, that's wrong. Mrs. Dale Levy of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And S.W. Woods of Richmond, Virginia sent in these chicken fajitas. <laughs> And Stephen Red of uh, Woodlawn, Woodlawn Virginia, Virginia. Uh, did Doris's Greek chicken. So we got three chicken recipes today, all fairly heart healthy. Well, are yours uh, is yours a long recipe? I just dread for you to put that back on the flame again. It was popping all you over. You want to know everything. if mine is a long recipe? Yeah. Yes, Larry. In a word, it is long. Well, then can I get it started? It is first? really long. Because I have to do a frying thing before I do the rest of my. Thing. So do I. Oh, well. So just be still, my heart. Just no, go right you go, on. no, go right on. I have to heat oh, up right. my oil and uh, vinegar. Okay. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> that stuff was popping all over everything. I've never seen anything like it. I, I'm not too thrilled about having to work on the set today because of it. Take a couple of eggs, put them in a little bowl because you can dredge some chicken in it, and take a little fork or something and diddle that around a little bit. Now, first thing you're going to do is heat up a little margarine or oil on the stove. Do a little of this. Let me get this out of the way. I need room. And <laughs> it's going to be one of those shows already, I can tell. Dredge that like so. Boom. Chicken breast. Into some <laughs> breadcrumbs. Chicken breasts. I'm sorry, did I not say what it was? No. They're chicken breasts, in case you want to know. And that's egg, in case you want to. And this is my hand, that's my watch, in case you need explanations of everything on the program today. <laughs> Take this, put it in some breadcrumbs, what it calls for specifically. Save a little time. I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. Now, it calls for you to salt and pepper this and also to put garlic powder on. I'm going to wait until, let's go over here. I'm going to wait until I actually get it into the pan before I do that part of it. It's a little bit faster because, you know, Mr. Johnson's in a big hurry. He's got a lot of things to do today. So there we go. That's all I'm going to do for right now. And you got to brown this on the outside, and then we'll fix the rest of it up. Johnson, it's all yours. Thank you. And, and Doris, would you turn on my oven to 350 if it's not already? Oh, okay. Harold has right. done his job. I have got four chicken breast halves sliced thinly in a plastic bag with a marinade. And I'm not going to show you how to do the marinade, but I'm going to tell you what's in it. Oh, I did it last it's, week at that little club. Yeah. I was doing the marinade. Uh, it was just give a it fabulous up. dance. Uh, we have got here uh, a half a cup 
each of olive oil and red wine vinegar. She was a good woman, olive three oil. Three cloves of garlic, minced, a teaspoon each of crushed red pepper, grated black pepper and salt, a half tablespoon of parsley, and a, a, one Ugh. teaspoon each of lime juice and Worcestershire sauce. Bless All you. of that, and you marinate your chicken for an hour or so, and then you drain it. So I'm gonna put it in here and drain it out. In the meantime, you put another half a cup of olive oil and a half a cup of vinegar on the stove and let it get hot enough to cook with because we're gonna fry this chicken up. This is uh, this sliced chicken. So after it's marinated, now I will warn you in advance, we have learned the hard way, it's all over my garments, that this is explosive. Olive oil and vinegar, when it gets hot, the vinegar will pop and go all over your kitchen. So uh, be, just be prepared for that, but it's, it seems to be sizzling pretty good right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken, marinated chicken in here and let it start cooking. And I'm gonna turn the heat back up so it will do it, because there's a lot of steps to this recipe. This is not a hard recipe, but it's just got a lot of stuff to fool with. All right, Larry? Uh, okay, at this point now, I'm starting to brown the chicken, let it brown real good, and at this point, we will salt it and pepper it. I'm gonna put a little pepper on there, and I like my pepper a little on the heavy side. A little bit of salt, just a teeny little bit. And some garlic powder goes on that. Oh, well, that's great. I took the thing off of it. Now, isn't that just swell? <laughs> Good heavens. Oh, well, that's all right. That's what well, somebody were made that for. will be the there we go the garlic lovers breast and uh, uh huh that's true it will be and in a couple of minutes I'll I'll mix up all the stuff that goes into it and that's all I'm gonna do okay my chicken is cooking and now you will need a, a large yellow onion and a green pepper the yellow onion needs to be finely chopped the green pepper is sliced. And in just a minute, as soon as I determine this chicken is cooking a little bit better, I'm gonna add those two vegetables. And if you can find one, a hot banana pepper chopped, uh, sliced up is good in here. I didn't wanna put a jalapeno in, and the banana peppers were not to be found in the market today. Okay, let's take a look at this. It looks like it's doing real well. Oh, it is. Now that's real nice. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Well, how on earth did that happen? Did you want to take a nice picture of it? Well, Harold can come and take a picture of it. He's Mr. Picture Taking Guy today. And now you'll turn it over and we'll repeat the process. A little salt, a little <laughs> pepper. Did I do that? No, I did it. I'll you know sell. you're gonna you're gonna kill us with that stuff. I know. Today. I'm real worried about it. Ladies I'm and gentlemen, boys and girls, death. be very oh. very careful at home. No, not a picture of me. A picture of the chicken, Doris. Come up here. <laughs> Come up here. Get a nice get a nice close up picture. Taking a picture of the chicken. Can you believe she'd actually do that? That's good, Doris. And there's a picture of the back of your head taking a picture of my chicken. Now a little more salt and pepper, and uh, exactly what is it? that Doris does here anyway, I've sort of forgotten. Besides have too much She tries fun. to keep you on track. I can tell, a little more pepper and of course a little more garlic. I'm just real worried about what I did with the lid to that. Yeah, just a little on the other side. Sure, what are you, nervous about it? It's a garlic recipe, boys and girls. It doesn't hurt to have a little extra piece of garlic on there, and there you go. And you'll do the same thing there. You will sort of brown that and uh, and that's all you do. <laughs> all right, now I've added the, the peppers and the onions to this mixture, and you kind of have to toss it around and keep it going real good, and you want to cook this until the onions and the peppers appear to be translucent. Miss Doris brought some chips and salsa, and I just I can't. know, you can't stay out of them. Mm, marvelous, marvelous. I hate chips and salsa. I don't like, you know, they're all right, but most people serve that fiery hot salsa that burns my mouth. For the last six times I've had Johnson to my house, I've had chips and salsa. It is a, and measure, now, of, it is a measure of my But uh, I always politeness. have lots of other yes, stuff, too, do. don't I? Mm -hmm. I always have a lot of swell other things. 
Six times. He never told me that. Peanuts and star mints. But he gets me back because he knows that I, I'm not real happy about lamb, and he always serves that to me. When I'm, so anyway, this is me. Okay, this is ready now. You don't need to overdo it. Oh, <clears throat> well, perhaps I did overdo it just a little bit. But anyway, take this off and put it in a nice little baking dish or whatever. This is a little bit larger than we need because Uncle Lair is taking this home. I just want everyone to be warned so no one gets offended. Mm. Uh, I need I something to eat. <laughs> Poor thing. And I don't get paid till tomorrow, and this means I eat tonight. So anyway, put that in there, but you put it in a little bit smaller one, but this is like last week's came in this, so I'm taking this home because this actually belongs to me enough. So anyway, now I'm going to prepare the stuff that goes Nobody on as soon as Mr. Johnson is finished. Nobody else but Bly would have a blue dish like that. It's a pretty one. You comment mm -hmm. on it every time. Yeah. Miss Carol loves it. Miss Carol, who also made my piggy, it made you one too. Mm -hmm. We alternate. This is cute, these little piggies on here. Can I do this? Uh, what, just, are you, what are you I'm doing? I'm just cooking this until the... The vegetables are done a little bit more. Okay, right. then let's do this. This is the goop that you put over top of it. A can of cream of chicken. That's attractive. Uh, a can of milk. Give or take a little. And it says, don't get excited, Doris. It says you can add more milk later if you think it needs to be thin. And I can tell you from experience, it does. Now I gotta mix that up and I don't have a whisk or anything. Well, wait a minute, I got this. It's okay, it's okay. Don't get nervous, Doris. I don't have the whisk. All right, and he doesn't have the whisk. Someone has stolen the cooking the cheap whisk. The whisk. <laughs> it is gone out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. So that's the first thing you gotta do, okay? And I'll show you the rest of this in a couple of seconds. Oh, thank you very much. Cause you know, you gotta get those lumps out of there. You don't want those lumps in there. Actually, the lumps will cook right out. You don't have to worry about it. So the next thing you have to do now is you take this and pour it in here. Because it's going to cook in this. Well, isn't that pretty? There it goes. Next thing you do is take some plain old American processed cheese. And it, it goes into this thing about take a one half of one for each chicken breast, but because I have chicken breast pieces, uh, which uh, saved me money, actually, uh, I don't have to do it that way. So what I'll do is this. Take, I'm just going to take two across, all the way across the pan. Does this even slightly resemble what you think I'm doing? Because you look puzzled, Doris. But I've done this recipe. Well, I can tell that you haven't really read it. She seems real puzzled, but you know, she makes me nervous when she starts looking like that. Cause it's like, this man has no earthly idea what he's doing, but I've already done it. It's in the oven. So anyway, you take this American cheese and put it across there, all the way across. That's about two, four, six slats of cheese. Ed Johnson here. Mm -hmm. Here's, look at this. Isn't this terrible? A little bitty piece has gotten loose and we know where that always goes. It always goes in the gu hello Johnson, <coughs> oh, in the gullet of Johnson. He just loves cheese. <laughs> it's real good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's like eating rubber. Mm -hmm. So anyway, put that in there. Then the next thing you do before you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes is take a little Parmesan cheese and sprinkle on top of that. And if you want to, on top of that, then. You can also put a little fresh parsley. We don't have fresh parsley at this time of the year. Although, I went out yesterday and it has been so warm that the parsley is already up about three inches, but I just didn't want to go out and chop, chop on it and molest it while it was that young. So there you go. Now, I'll put that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and bake it. And it sure does sound wonderful to me. Johnson? Well, I've got my flour, big flour tortillas and you fold the ends, and then you fold this over, and then you fold this over, and you put it in a baking dish. And Ooh. that's what I'm working on right now. And uh, with this mixture. I don't know. And. Uh, Should I? Should I try? Well, maybe I will. All right. Excuse there me, Doris and I are having a conversation. I here. could tell. 
All but right. it'll be so hot, I won't be able to take it to the car. <laughs> okay. All right. Finally. Okay, that's all I'm going to try to do right now. Now you use some shredded cheese. And let's see if I can get it open. This is a resealable bag, thank goodness. And it's low-fat cheese. And you sprinkle some of the cheese on top of these things. Well, that looks good, Johnson. Yep, there's the cheese. And now we're going to put these in the oven Oof. while we do the rest of it. Doris, get out of the way. <laughs> Can I get my recipe soon? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to give you my recipe now. And then I think we've got the Cook Sisters coming in here in a minute. Chicken a la queen. Six boneless chicken breasts, or parts, which is what I got today because they were cheaper. A cup of plain breadcrumbs. Three slices of Velveeta or American cheese. I used American. Can of cream of chicken soup. Salt and pepper to taste. Quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Cup of milk or a little bit more if you don't want it to get too thick while it's cooking. Large egg to dredge all those breasts in. A tablespoon of uh, Parmesan cheese put on top. A fresh parsley optional. I'm using just a little bit of can today because I have no fresh parsley. Now what? We get Mr. Joe. All I'm now I'm doing the next step of my recipe, oh, which does go heavens. on forever. Well, there it went. I didn't need it anyway. <clears throat> that was the half a cup measure. Now, <coughs> iceberg lettuce. I don't usually use it. It gives me indigestion, but it's the only lettuce that's going to work right because it's tough, and uh, you can. Uh, Shred it, and this needs to be shredded, so I'm going to shred some iceberg, and I'm going to keep doing this, and then I'm going to slice a tomato. So, Larry, if you and Doris want to go ahead. It's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for Doris Television. And Hi. here she is. Hi. You Hi. Should, she was actually wearing this on her nose <laughs> earlier, but uh, anyway. I had to do a Greek chicken that took four chicken breasts, one tablespoon of oregano, and I'm wondering if that's right, uh, three-fourths cup olive oil, juice of three lemons, and a third of clove of garlic. And what I had to do was cut slices in, in the uh, chicken breast, put the garlic in it, and then put uh, the oregano, uh, first you put the oil, the, um, what do I, well, that's what I had, the, the lemon juice, and then put the oregano on, and for four chicken breasts, doesn't that look like an awful lot of yeah, it looks oregano? A so I'm wondering if they meant, you know how you can buy sometimes the two pieces of chicken breast mm -hmm. like together, right. maybe? They're sure. And it would be bigger, and it, it would spread out more, because yeah. this, I think this is... It's Th that that's exactly uh, they meant that because Greek dishes frequently will have a an abundance okay. of herbs. So. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I made another dish here. Now the funny part of it is that Sunday a, a Ned came out with one of our local stores around here for a Greek chicken, oh, and yeah. it's almost exactly the same except that they. Uh, it has um, olive, the olive oil and wine, if you'd like to put some wine in the marinade, a fourth of a cup. And it said to well, mince the garlic. we're always looking for an excuse right, to do that. And just mix it up in only a teaspoon of oregano. Mm -hmm. So I made both of them for you to try. But um, it doesn't say whether you should dump the, the marinade out in the recipe, but I did because I, it was just swimming in marinade. And I didn't think you should bake it in all that. Did, what, what do you think? If you should bake it. I would usually do what the directions say, but I agree with you. Yeah, because it, it was just, I mean, it I was. I would take it out of the. So I, I took it out in order to cook it, and even, because it made an, an enough juice. It had some, and I took it out and put it in another okay. dish. Okay. Well, okay. thanks a lot. Looks real good. Mr. Johnson, what are you doing All right, now? now I've got individual serving dishes. And open that for me. Some salsa, some sour cream, low-fat sour cream, or no-fat sour cream. And let's see. We will, uh, in a minute, take my fajitas out of the oven and where the cheese has been melting and put them on a bed of lettuce and lovely sliced tomatoes. Uh -huh. Want to call the Cook Sisters in? Yeah, let's time? call them in. Yeah, it's time for the doing. Cook Sisters to visit us here today while Mr. Johnson's waiting for his fajitas to pop out of the oven. Cook Sisters are just around the corner, but it takes them a while. Because, you know, they don't move as fast as they used to. Yes, they're quite slow. Oh, but they're good. They're well worth the wait for well, at least four, three, two, one well, second. <laughs>
Hey, Toots. What? You know, when you're eating that fast food that you love so much, that the fries have got more fat in them than the burgers do. Oh, how terrible. Oh, yes. You got to be careful with them because, you know, the, the fat in the fry and the fat in the burger is just like a broken arm is better than a broken leg. They're both bad for you. Oh, I'll have some flies on the side. Oh, oh no. I'm terrible. Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook sisters. sisters. You don't have to give your recipe, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All righty. Well, well the fajitas have just come out of the oven. The fajitas. Can I have the spatula? What did you do? Oh. Uh, is it over here? Here it is. Yeah, there it is. It's, it's Thank got you so goop much. on it, but it won't kill you. And it's food. I've still, now I've given you the recipe for the uh, marinade, so maybe I won't go back through that again, but we'll put it up on the screen here in just a second. Ooh, that looks nice. It looks like a right substantial Ooh, meal to it, me. It is. Certainly and, nothing uh, very delicate about it. Here are the rest of the ingredients. I'll just run through them real quick. Four to five boneless chicken breasts cut into strips. Uh, five flour, large flour tortillas. A large yellow onion, a large green pepper. Uh, one cup each of olive oil and red vinegar, three cloves of garlic, one teaspoon each, crushed red pepper and grated black pepper, salt, one half tablespoon chopped parsley, one teaspoon each of lime juice and Worcestershire sauce, one and a half cups of grated cheddar or your favorite cheese, and uh, lettuce, tomatoes, salsa, and sour cream. Mm. A lot of stuff. Now what are you doing? Well, now I'm going to... Put there couldn't be anything else that goes on this. Salsa on top of the fajitas. Ooh, isn't this a pretty dish, Mr. Johns? Well, I, I thought it's it was right just pretty. Full of, and There's fortunately, a, uh, you know, we're always laughing about they ought to take a picture of it. Well, believe it or not, they really have today actually oh, taken well, pictures of it. It's so day. wonderful. People will probably now write in and ask for, well, I can't get the sour cream open. Good grief. Arf, says Sandy. All right. Put that. Do dollop of sour cream on the top of each one, and there it is, all set for your eating pleasure. And eating pleasure it is. All right. So here we go for our eating pleasure. Well, what a funny place to find a measuring cup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, that's real nice, but I got to get this chicken off. <laughs> I know, that's why I did it. Uh huh, you did it so you wouldn't have to. Here, let me give you a piece of this and see what you all think right. of it. You got to put your plate over here. I don't want to get it all over everything. Well, I did anyway. Well, it looks real delicious and it's got lots of fine cheese on it. And what is this? This is Miss Doris's uh, Greek chicken. Greek chicken, which looks very flavorful and wonderful. I want to try this little, I, I, you know, I'm real crazy about Mexican stuff, so let me try this real quickly and see how this is. Ah! <laughs> What's wrong? It's hot. Mm. Johnson, this is good stuff that well, you great. just did. Glad you like it. Mm -hmm. And yours is wonderful. Now let me try. Even if it did just cauterize your mouth. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. Mmm. And the Greek chicken is wonderful too. It's not overdone with all no. the. It's a strong flavor, but it's good. It's supposed to be that way. It really is oh, supposed to be that way. Three wonderful chicken dishes. A little oh, salsa get and chicken. Out of the salsa, I mm. swear. Oh, I love it. But you know, it's a shame there couldn't be some kind of beverage or something here. Oh, I know. One of those wonderful. Mexican brews <laughs> would be perfect with this. Mm. I Wouldn't love it? this chicken that I made. Uh huh. This is a wonderful recipe, and it's not terribly a lot of fuss necessary. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Would have tasted better if it had a lot more salsa and chips in it. Oh, salsa and chips. I'm going to take them home, Doris, because he doesn't like them, and I do. Mm mm mm. Well, I'll tell you, this is great. We There's had just no a two wonderful about. time. It is real good. <laughs> and the lettuce is good too. Now look how colorful it all is. Isn't mm -hmm. that wonderful? This is fabulous. In fact, it's just all great. This These is a lot of work, Johnson. would perk up your lives. 
So we anyway. certainly perked up ours. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and visit us again soon.